Hi, Elaine. It's me, Tony. Um, you asked me to explain my heart defect, so here it goes. I have a heart defect called truncus arteriosus, and this heart defect, um, basically everybody has an aortic valve and a pulmonary valve, and they're supposed to be in the heart like this, and the pulmonary valve excretes blood to the lungs, and the aortic valve, <laughs> well, honestly, I'm kind of brain dead right now because I'm so tired, so I don't know what the aortic valve does. Mine grew together as one trunk, which is truncus, and it basically had to be separated and re put back together. septical defect and ventricle septical defect and that just simply means that I have a hole in each septal of my heart. Once a year I go to the cardiologist for a um, EKG and echocardiogram to see if you know my heart's doing better or not. Um, the very last time that I went to the uh, doctor they told me that my heart well no it wasn't the very last time I went to the doctor the very last time I went to my original doctor I moved out to Waco so I now have a new cardiologist. Well, anyway, my old doctor told me, wow, your heart looks better than it has in three years. And there are several reasons why that's the case. Sometimes my heart palpitates, and palpitate means that it goes boom, 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 boom. It like skips a beat, or sometimes it goes really, really fast. But other than that, I mean, I, that, all that happens is that I get tired more than the average person does because my, for now, my aortic valve is fixed. The only thing that needs to be worked on is the, in the, <clears throat> the only thing that needs to be worked on in the future is my pulmonary valve. That's it, at least for now. After heart surgery back in 2005, I developed staph infection and I got very, very, very sick very, very quickly. It happened within like three weeks. I, I started rapidly losing weight. I started getting better and then suddenly I started getting worse. I had a low grade fever for three months straight. I lost at least two or three pounds a day for almost a month and a half, two months. Um, I, I got to where I couldn't eat anything at all. I was eating plain white rice, plain white bread water, plain tuna. I could have no seasoning. I could have no red meat. I could have no soda, no sugar, nothing, or else my body would throw up. The doctors tested me for ulcers, test, even tested me for cancer. Tested me for, name it, they tested me for it. And the only thing they didn't test me for was the thing I had, and that was staph infection. Um, it was about, I would say, the beginning of October. I told my doctor, I'm dying. Do something. I'm 78 pounds. Uh, I can feel myself dying. I can't eat. I can't sleep. I can't hardly move. Everything makes me throw up. What is wrong with me? Do something. Find out what's wrong with me. So he said, okay, I'll do a blood culture. I was like, okay, do that. The results came back and they found out I had staph infection. They told me to go to the hospital immediately. And when I got there, I was already admitted. So they gave me IV antibiotic for about three or four days before they decided to give me a PICC line. And that PICC line was first inserted right here. No. I'm sorry. It was inserted right here. And here's the one, actually. I don't know if you can see it very well. But anyway. And then, for some reason, like, the, the veins in my arm wasn't accepting the medication, 
wasn't accepting the medication like it should, so they switched it over to this arm, and the scar for this arm is actually right here. And it was in this arm for eight full weeks before they took it back out. I was on uh, vancomycin. <sighs> I don't know what the R1 was, but all I know it was an orange antibiotic. It made my tears orange, it made my sweat orange, it made my spit orange, and it even gave my skin a slightly orange tint. Luckily, orange is my favorite color, huh? I'm thankful that I was born with a heart defect because I feel like I am a living testimony for the Word of God. I am proof that miracles do happen and that there is a God. I'm not saying that I'm one of His angels, that I'm perfect, or that I'm a saint. No, I'm far from perfect. I've made my share of mistakes. I've pissed my share of people off, and I've I've done a lot wrong, but... I feel like, I mean, I have Tarkus Arteriosus, one of the rarest heart defects in the world. And there are so many people that are way less fortunate than me and didn't make it past even age 12. In fact, when I was 16, I was so sick, I myself thought I was going to die. I begged my doctors, please do something. I'm I'm rapidly losing weight. I'm, I'm clearly not okay. It doesn't matter how many tests you run. There's something wrong with me. Find out, you know? But... I didn't die. I'm here. I made it through a very, very dangerous surgery that took ten and a half hours. My scars never bothered me during my childhood. Remember, I have always had my scars ever since I was 30 days old, before I even was aware that I existed. So, these scars have been around for as long as I can remember, and I've never been ashamed of them. Even whenever I was 13, 14, 15, I never wore things to try to cover up my scars. If people asked me, I told them, hey, these scars are from heart surgery. They show me that I've made it through things that people, even in their 90s, have never gone through. I've had 23 surgeries, but four open heart surgeries, and I'm still alive, and I'm only 22 years old. Yeah, that's something not to be proud of, but to be thankful for. I am very thankful because, honestly, it wasn't a great team of surgeons that brought me through my heart surgery. It was God himself. God brought me here for a reason. I used to be very confused on what that reason was, but lately I've been hearing things from people that basically I'm here to show that God is real. I'm here, I mean, look, man, I've had, you know, I have all these scars, you know, I've been through so much, and yet I'm still happy with my life. I still try to take care of myself. You know, I still keep going. Yeah, I get frustrated. Yeah, I complain. But hey, you know what? I'm human. I'm allowed to do that. I get frustrated with my life, but I haven't given up and I have never wanted to give up. Okay, I have wanted to give up several years ago, but I was an immature teenager that knew nothing about life and pff, I don't know. Life's good, I promise. Don't ever be ashamed of who you are. If you have scars, show them off. It shows the world what you've been through. Scars are beautiful. Really, they are. I love scars. I have hundreds of them. I used to wish that I was normal, but I mean, what is normal anyway? Because of my heart defect, I am, I, I eat healthy, I live healthy, I am healthy. Well, that's all I have to say for now. I know the video was long. Thank you for watching.